Hi, and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki Kirk, and I have a little bit of a cold, so my voice might sound different. And just a little bit of behind the scenes. So I sell on Amazon, I make these videos, and now I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the behind the scenes of this video. I am all white because I'm in my garden shed, which has a little bit of a portable AC. And that's where you're seeing the like hair flow come from because it's like 110 outside or something. And so I recently found, I shoot this on a Canon. It says it's an EOS R6. That's what I shoot these on. I have a Rode mic. And I edit in Final Cut Pro, and I recently came across this like plugin, which totally removes the background noise and the noise of wind. So I filmed some stuff outside before. It was like so windy, and it probably would have sounded awful, but I was able to use this plugin, and it worked great. So here's what it sounds like without the plugin. And now I have the plugin back, and so hopefully this all sounds crisp and clean, and you are even seeing this video. Because if it sounds bad, I can't do it. Because it's just, who's going to want to watch it? Anyways, that's all behind the scenes. Today in this video, I'm going to take you on a live online arbitrage sourcing trip with me. So last night, I used tactical arbitrage to run some searches, and today we're going to go through them. If you are new to my channel, uh, in June, so I think I'm on like six weeks ago, I broke my leg. And so I already had a tactical arbitrage subscription, but I never really used it because I was just too busy doing retail arbitrage to give online arbitrage a chance. I like stuff kind of fast and retail, I'm buying it and finding it and scanning it and it's active and online is like takes a while. You got to dig through and then you order it and then it comes a week later, sometimes in many boxes. Anyways, so retail arbitrage is really like my, what I love to do, but I am enjoying online arbitrage now. So if you're unfamiliar with tactical arbitrage, it is a software which combs through websites and pulls the data from Amazon that matches that listing. Now, as you are going to see, a lot of them don't actually match. They think it does, but it doesn't. And I'll walk you through those examples because we are going to find them. It is kind of expensive. So it is like, oh, and there's a steep learning curve, like a real steep, kind of like when you first started selling on Amazon, it's like nothing makes sense. And then as you get into it and you're learning it and making mistakes, things start to make sense. That is totally how tactical arbitrage is as well. So they've given me a code, Nikki, the link is below, which will give you 10 days free. Otherwise, you really, I wanna make sure if you do that thing, the 10 days free, you have the time, at least two to three days set aside to really dig in, give it, you know, six hours, four hours a day, a lot of your time to really learn it because otherwise it is expensive on an ongoing basis to keep a subscription. So don't waste those 10 free days definitely make sure you have a couple days in that time frame where you can jump in and learn it. So hopefully this video helps you a little bit of it, but mostly I just, I'm not sourcing retail arbitrage as much right now with a broken leg. So I decided to go ahead and take you online arbitrage sourcing. If you're totally new to Amazon or you're thinking about starting and you want my help, I have the beginner FBA Amazon selling course, which walks you through 16 video lessons step-by-step -step from everything from how to start your business to how to source and run your business beyond. It's really that six months of starting sweet spot there to walk you through it step-by-step -step, right with you, taking you through it. So if you're interested in that, it's beginnerfba.com and I am right there with you in this Facebook group to help answer your questions every day. Whatever happens throughout the day, pop in, ask a question and I'm there to help you. All right, so let me turn on tactical arbitrage and just I'll give a brief rundown. This is not by any means a how to use tactical arbitrage. Like I said, I'm pretty new to it. So you, if you're more advanced with it, you're gonna be like, yeah, you're doing that wrong. I'm still learning it. Okay, so right off the bat, there's like a lot of different ways that it will run. I'm just doing straight product search where we comb through a website. There are ways you can like reverse search and all that kind of stuff. Haven't really dived into that part of it, dove, whatever. So I'm just taking you through the product search. You can run seven searches at a time. So it looks like last night I ran seven. As of right now, it looks like two are still going. And then I have 16 completed. I think there's a, a limit to how many completed. So I just go and delete, like I just deleted June last night before I re-ran some things. So from my dashboard, I'm gonna go over to view data. Oh, first, let me just show you how to run some searches. So product search is where you would wanna start. It's really cool because there's a lot of different ones. So they're all, this is all of them together, but they're separated by the letter that the store starts with. So if you wanted to do, let's say we wanna do Oshkosh, Bagosh, 
and so over here I hit select all for categories but if you only wanted to do certain categories you could just select only the ones you want I always just say select all if you know of any discounts offhand that they're already doing you can go ahead and say yeah there's a 20% off all your orders in there I don't do that I just go ahead and name it so I'm going to name this Oshkosh and today's date which is the 18th and then I'm going to hit search now I do the date so that I know going like you'll see these ones we're going to go through I dated them yesterday so I know when I ran the search because if you don't look pretty quick the stuff might be sold out the stuff might be gone the sale might be over lots of different things and you want to know how old the stuff is that you're looking through so I just date them so I know okay so that's how you run a search again you can run seven and I would recommend running seven at any time so that when you go back you can go comb through all of them so I could say I want to do revolve I'm gonna hit start a new search select all Oh, I didn't select it revolve I don't know what Revolve has, but I like to do ones that I've not really heard of. I mean, I've heard of Revolve, I've heard of Oshkosh, but ones that like everyday sellers probably aren't searching. So after all the searches are done, you go over to view data, view data, and there's two different ways of looking at it. I prefer basic, but up here you're going to see there's an advanced, which does tell you more stuff, but it's harder to see because I'm going to show you. I think you can like rejigger how you want all of these to be looked at, but like you'd have to get the two images together to see. So there's advanced view. Um, I don't really use it. I basically use the basic view. So it's looking at all my results right now. Let's just say I want to do Costway, which I have no idea what that store is. So why not look at it? I'm going to do Costway 717 results. It's you're going to see that check mark there. I'm going to hit refresh on the web page because sometimes things go slow. And now you see, oh, I'll tell you why. So you can see there's nothing showing, right? because I already have these filters set so quality match that's how much of a match that TA is saying it is I have played with this it's not really affected anything to try and get the match better and I'll explain in a second but here you can see who has the buy box is it Amazon or Merchant Fulfilled like what do you want to see Amazon categories if you care you like you only want those gross profit as you know if you know my Amazon selling um, channel program what I do I always am looking for five dollar minimum profit so that I know that it's gonna make money when I send it in and sell because the price may come down I may make three dollars four dollars but if I send it in with that five dollar minimum then I know at least I'm gonna make five dollars at this point when I'm sending it in because if I buy it and it's making two dollars and then the price goes down now I'm just breaking even that was a waste of my time and my money ROI I want 50% ROI that means if I spend $10, I want it to at least make $5. That's the ROI. That would be 50%. Sales rank last 30 days. You can say whatever you want. I went kind of high just to be able to see it. But let's say, let's take this off and then hit apply. So now you can see everything that came up was clearly above my sales rank uh, minimum that I had. And now you can see that there's some different offers here. They were just, I had nothing in my filter. So Costway apparently is recliners okay let me reset the filters totally so everything is removed and now you can see there's only eight products um costway looks like it's furniture store which personally is cool like this garden bench is pretty cool however i don't personally i don't sell big items now if you do maybe costway is a great place to look so hopefully that's a tip for you so i'm gonna dive into more stuff on another one because this one doesn't have anything for me so i'm just gonna click out of it and go to a different search Let's see what Walgreens has for us. And now I'm going to unclick Costway because you see it has two X's. I don't care about that. I'm going to put my filters back. Now on Buy Box, I'm going to uncheck Amazon because, you know, I don't sell if Amazon's selling it. So if they're in the Buy Box, then I don't want to even look at it. Again, that's totally up to you. Gross Profit 5, 50% ROI, Rank. Okay, so now you're going to see what I was talking about. Remember I said everything doesn't really match? So yeah, this looks great. This is in baby, which is weird. Okay, now, if you see here, triple pack, you're getting three of them, even though this is super hard to understand that because nowhere on here does it say, but you're getting three of them. And over here on Tactical Arbitrage, it's pulling in the price at Walgreens for one. So $6.99 for one, $20.97. So it would be making $4.95, not worth it. But you see how it's saying $18? 
Those are the things you have to look for because tax with arbitrage, the most annoying thing is the amount of misfits. So if it, you can mark it, mismatch here, mismatch, let them know. It doesn't really do anything that I've noticed. Now this one, Polo, that's 150 for one bar, and this is very clearly a 12 pack. So you're no, you're not gonna make nine dollars. So as you get better at it, you'll be able to zoom through. So I'm just gonna keep going. Again, three dollars for one bar, 44. You're not making 29 dollars. This is not even the same product. Again, not the same product, but let's see, three times six is 18. Yeah, it wouldn't make any profit. You can kind of just do the math quickly. I'm going to click on this because I'm almost guaranteeing that it is a double pack. Yeah, so there you go. Now this planner looks promising. So we've got a 5x8 planner. Now let's see what this is. And this is a 5x8 planner. Monthly, weekly, January to December. Okay, so it looks like it's the same product. So we're going to say $7.99. This is Rev Seller, this box here, if you're not familiar. So it would make $6. It's got a really great rank in office. It's July, so, you know, people still have half a year to use it. So I'm not questioning why they are going to buy it. If they want to buy it, I'll sell it to them, right? So I could pick up or same day. Um, I'm not in Texas. It just always thinks I'm in Texas. I'm in Oklahoma. Apparently close enough to think I'm in Texas. That one right there, you can see Amazon comes in and out of it. So I'd be comfortable selling it because... They're going to sell out of it, right? So right now, again, this is a great one if you want to grab it at Walgreens. Another one, this is looks like it's probably a little bit bigger one. Yeah, 8 by 10 Now, I ran Walgreens because I was finding stuff last week when I was doing this, so I knew I was going to find some stuff for you today. So that's precisely why I did it. So if you don't do Walgreens.com, maybe you might want to. Even if you do it on your own without tactical arbitrage, just search like you would in store. Pull up Amazon. Pull up Walgreens and cross-reference, grab your phone, scan it like you're taking a photo of the item, do whatever you got to do to find the listings and see if they make profit. So this is a monthly 8x10, again a monthly 8x10, and it is $6.99 at Walgreens. It's a good rank for office. I would probably still feel comfortable selling it into August and September. I mean, people might still want it, you never know. So if it still has a good rank when you find it and scan it, definitely, you know, grab it. We've got a clean and clear, clear and care, whatever it is. You can see here the rank is good. All right, let me click and see what it is. It's 12 ounces, pack of one. All right, looks good. Now let's head over to Walgreens and just double check that it's the same item. And I can get it shipped. hey -o. Okay, so triple action, 3% hydrogen peroxide. Clearly it's different packaging, but as long as the product is the same, triple action, 3%. Everything is checking out for me. So if you just look at the packaging, it looks pretty similar. All right, so $9.99 at Walgreens. Now that one right there is making $8. Let's see how many I can order. I can order 12. Add for shipping. Continue shopping. Now with Walgreens, here we go. 15% off plus $35 site-wide. They always have some kind of little whatever's going on up there. Sometimes it's a BOGO, but awesome. So I'm going to get 15% off with this code. So I'm going to make sure that I am calculating that into my, so if it just barely makes it, well now, oh, plus I'm probably going to have to pay tax, right? Because I can't use my tax exempt online at Walgreens that I know of, haven't researched it at all. So that 15% is actually going to save me on tax. So that's great. Now, another thing that I'm, when I'm doing online arbitrage is like, this is a perfect example. I just scrolled down to see what else was going on this deals page. And you can see here, there's a BOGO on vitamins, or there's 50% off vitamins, a BOGO on sun care, and a last chance on clearance. So those are branch leads, right? Like I found, I came here because I found something to add in my cart. I saw there was a discount and now I'm going to say, oh, cool. What kind of sunscreens do they have? Okay. Back to tactical arbitrage. Here's another one. I can obviously tell this is a two pack and this is not, so nope. And then you go down here, you can sort by having more show, or you can just go to the next page. Let's see. So this is saying 12 ounces. So let me click and see what it really is. 12 ounces. Wash and Loam Sensitive Plus. 12 ounces. So you see here, pack of four. I was going to say it seemed a little too good to be true. Plus, this is a little weird, 12, size 12. It's a little weird listing. You always want to kind of be careful of those. 
You can see here it's five pack, nine dollars for one, not gonna make any money. Folgers, clearly not the same kind. This is Colombian, this is classic. So this is for single bag. Let me click in and see what the Amazon listing's for. One 12 pack, $27. One 12 ounce, not a 12 pack, 12 ounce. Again, you'd have to go pick it up, but looks like it makes some money. So there you go. There's another bolo to look out for at Walgreens. So you can see it's actually pretty easy. I literally, this is a real time video. I found these. I've not even been recording 29 minutes because the camera hasn't shut off and it shuts off after 29 minutes. So in real time, I have found three items, four items, I think. Um, and that's quite a lot of profit in just a couple minutes. So it is worth it if you want to sit down and learn it. Now it, it took, you wouldn't think it's very difficult to learn all that. Um, and it probably isn't, but it did take time to sit down and learn it. But now let's go look at another store. I'm going to pause really quick right here because thank you to my super tip super fans for tipping on YouTube. Uh, a couple videos ago, I was like, I don't know what happens, but James commented that he was my first one and he helped me out and I figured it out how I can see it. It's not the easiest way to see it, but on the video, if you do a super tip, which is just on the YouTube right there, it will actually highlight your comment for me as a super tip so make sure you comment and let me know so i can see it because like i said it's not the most intuitive there's no way on my end on the studio of youtube that i can say hey show me my super tips it just is like on that video and not even have to look at it like a user anyways all that to say youtube is still rolling out this thing and so it's not the most user friendly but thank you to Cat King and James Wanjala, my first super tip. If you give me a super tip and leave me a comment so I can see it, hopefully I'll see it, I will definitely give you a shout out in an upcoming video. Let's do Puma. Again, I placed an order for Puma lately, so I know there's some stuff there. Puma, I did, it was clearance stuff that I was buying, so, you know, you want to make sure. It's The great thing is that it already has my filters still, but for clothing, I really need it to be lower. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that and see what comes up. Okay, again, not the same shoe. Okay, so we have Cool Cat Men's Slider. It's looking promising. Let's click there and see. Rakuten, yep, I sure do. Always want to get anything you can extra while you're online sourcing. So if Rakuten or whatever cashback site you use, use it. Get that extra money. Either use it to get gift cards or just get the cash for yourself as a perk for your business or turn that money into more inventory, whatever you want to do with it. So they're on sale for $9.99, but you can see here we've only got it's a blue and red one, and this one, Pico, white, and red. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see the colors match. Okay, so we're talking the same. Now, they only have it in 10, 11, 12, and 13. So how much does it go for 10? $9.99. It'll make $3 in a size 10. See any special deals besides free shipping? Extra 20, so let's see what that does. So let me go back to this and see. Now let's just say I was gonna order these in a size 10. I'll get six, add to cart. One cool thing, if you are limited on funds or you use your credit card or whatever. So when I checked out at Puma, I did the after pay or whatever, where it breaks it up into four. I was like, why not? Why not pay a little less right now, right? And use your money to buy other stuff. So that was a great option as well for online arbitrage. Awesome, so I got an extra 20% off. So now for, we're gonna not calculate the shipping cost because I'm gonna order some more, right? And I'm not gonna be paying for shipping. So we got 47.94 divided by six. Now there's 7.99. Okay, so that's totally gonna make money, right? That's gonna make my $5 minimum. Yeah, now it makes 5.65, so that's a great bolo. So here's the thing to know about shoe, clothing, anything with a lot of variation. So you see, here's the listing uh, rank, which is a decent rank. It's good. But see how many different styles there are. And then in that, there's a bunch of different sizes within that. So that's a lot of variations. So you have to take that ranking with the grain of salt. I have no problem buying six of the shoe, but I also know it might take three, four, five months to sell them all. You know, I have a feeling the price might even go up. Let's see all the different buying options because those slides are not cheap. You even saw on Puma, it said it was $30. So 23 is the lowest, 26. So I would probably list it at 26. So let's see. And now it's making $8. I mean, that's a great deal. So Puma, another one. 
Again, I found that so fast. The camera did turn off. This is my second recording. So now I'm about 30, 35 minutes into this video. Um, even though I don't know what timestamp it is right now because it's, I edited it, but I'm finding these really fast. So just definitely you want to dive into online arbitrage if you haven't. Breaking my leg was a good thing in that sense that I learned to do online arbitrage and I have a bunch of different places that I am now sourcing. So that's that slide. Oh, what you can also do is go ahead and branch lead off of that slide. So there was a bunch of different ones. I forgot to even, here, let me go back to it. I forgot to look at all the other sizes, right? So the 10 makes money. Let's see about the 11. The 11 is definitely going to make money. Let's look at the 12. So if I was going to say I only wanted to buy one size of this, I would definitely be buying the 12 because that one is definitely making the most money. And lastly, the 13. Again, the 13. So I'll probably just buy the 12 and 13 because those make the best money. I also uh, returned some shoes that I got from Puma because they were not worth it anymore. I don't know what happened. So, but it was super easy to return. As soon as FedEx scanned it, I got my return back. And because I used Afterpay, it just took off the last payment and cut the third payment to lower. So definitely, hopefully this video has a little few tips for you. Afterpay, um, cash back, using whatever promo code you can find. All right, back to tactical arbitrage. So now it's pulling um, some of the other ones. So we've got the men's slide. This one comes in all different colors and it's black and white it looks like. So let me go to Amazon and this one you'll see is black and black. Amazon has pulled the wrong listing and you see that's a, like a snap closure and this is obviously not. So all things you wanna be aware of, it's even more important when you're doing, I mean, you can probably return the stuff, but when you're doing online arbitrage, you wanna make sure the exact same item. Always you wanna sell the exact same thing or you're gonna risk running bad feedback, bad customer experience, all headaches for your business. All right, let's do one more. I'm gonna head over to Target. Again, it's already got the filters. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and go up to 200 just because it's gonna be a variety of different things. It's not just clothing and shoes. So I can't sell DVDs. Even if I could, I wouldn't because it's just a tricky category that could get you shut down if anyone says it's not authentic. All right, Disney Pixar car looks like it's a match. Let's click in and see. Cash back, yep, I'm gonna do that. Normally you'll always find the picture that matches. So that's what I look for. It does kind of look like this one. So there's probably just two listings for it. My guess is that there's just two listings for it. Um, it looks like it matches. Kind of looks different, I can't tell. Well, I don't think I'm gonna buy this one because I'm not sure, but if you wanna look into it more. So anyways, $14.99, it would make profit if it actually matches. Again, I don't know if it does. So I'm not gonna spend the time to dig into it. All right, that was the first one, Osmo Learn. Let's click into that. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so awesome, IP Alert. If you don't have IP Alert, they gave me a promo code. Again, it's Nikki, and you can save $30 off your lifetime license, so it's a one-time fee, and it pops up for you like this. So it says IP Alert, like this brand is known to give IPs. They also have an app where you can enter the ASIN or the brand, and it will also tell you if it's an IP. Here's an example. So. I highly recommend, again, if you want to save, the link is below, discount code, so that you can save on IP Alert. That is obviously a bundle, and this is not. Again, a bundle, and this is not. Now, that doesn't mean that I can't go and look, like, but if it's $12.99, that one's probably also $12.99, I'm not going to make me any money. All right, let's go to the next page. Yeah, not a match. Trial size versus six of them, not a match. One of them versus six of them. Here we go, SPF 100. SPF 55, so clearly that's not a match. I'm gonna guess by the price of this that it's a lot of them, not just one, so let's click in. 10 pack, so what are they at Target? $3, so $30, not gonna make any money, not a match. One pack and that's four of them, not gonna make any money. This one looks like it's just different packaging, but you can see this is two pack, so six ounce foaming cleanser. Let's see if it's a bundle. It looks like maybe it's only one. Not really any bad reviews. This says it's 15 ounces, which makes me think it's two or three, but it doesn't say that anywhere. So let's see what it's at Target. $7.79. So this is a potential bolo. I would buy with caution. Um, it could be selling for $22. It could. It's just a little weird because the listing, a little weird. I'm not sure if it's one or two. 
Let me look at it in the app and see. I mean, it kind of checks out even in the app. It doesn't say that it's more than one. And the reason I went to scroll and look at the reviews is because you want to look at that to see what the customers think they're getting. If there was any questions. Um, again, I'd probably only list with caution, maybe six. You just don't want someone to be upset if they were expecting to. But since I'm on here like a customer shopping and I can't see anywhere where it says that I'm not only getting one item, I think it's okay. These are all just different things that happen. So skincare, Tula skincare, no IP alerts popped up. There's four FBA sellers. That looks good. However, they are on it, the brand. And so that's a red flag for me. They're on it twice. So I am just going to say, yeah, no, even though IP alert didn't pop up, if it's a beauty item and the brand is on it, that's almost certain going to get you an IP. All right. So that is about an hour long of online sourcing. I found a lot of profit there. I'm going to put it, I'm going to add it up after this video because it's getting hot and I need to go back into the AC, but I'll add it and right along the bottom of the profit I found in an hour doing online arbitrage using tactical arbitrage. So again, tactical arbitrage is kind of expensive. So definitely take advantage of the 10 day trial. It's seven days normally, but with the discount code and the link, you'll get 10 days free trial to test it out. It's pretty easy once you get into it, but definitely I know it's an expense to your business and not everyone can afford it. So if you're serious about online arbitrage, it might be worth checking it out. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this or what kind of videos you want to see to help you in your Amazon selling business. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a super tip if you want, and I will see you back here for another Amazon selling video.